Well, a couple of Americans tried to celebrate the 4th yeah, today. Not a happy one, though. Just as uh, America left England 214 years ago today, three more Americans got on the boat <laughs> and left today. Yeah, the last three Yankees in Queen Elizabeth's court had their dreams of a Wimbledon title end on this 4th of July, as all three Americans in the quarterfinals were eliminated. Unseated Kevin Curran, at 32, the oldest of the three Yanks, ran into 18-year-old Goran Ivanisevic of Yugoslavia. Look at the uh, backhand volley there by Curran. He took the first set 6-4, to four, but from there the teenager was in control there, the forehand winner. He took the second and third sets 6-4, to four, and then here he comes to the net again for another winner. That in the fifth set. And then at match point, Ivanisevic with the big serve that Curran just cannot handle. And Ivanisevic moves on to face Boris Becker in the semis. Meantime, Ivan Lendl had to struggle to beat unseated American Brad Pierce. Here you'll see him drive Pierce back to the baseline and then come in for the volley to the open court. Now, Pierce only won one set in this match, but he made Lendl work all day long. Here at match point, Lendl at the net gets the winner. And he is through to the semis with a tougher than expected four set win over Brad Pierce. Lendl gets 88 Wimbledon champ Stefan Edberg next to the third seed, swept fellow Swede. 6-3, 6-2, Defending champ Boris Becker eliminated American Brad Gilbert, also in straight sets, and he'll face Ivanisevic, who, as you saw, outlasted Kevin Curran in a five-setter. Well, baseball is saving most of its fireworks for tonight. There were just a couple of games this afternoon. In Minneapolis, the Twins and Red Sox continued their series. First inning, Gary Gaetti doubled down the left field line off Greg Harris. Kirby Puckett came all the way around from first to put Minnesota up 1-0. Boston tied it in the fourth when Ellis Burks hit a ground rule double to right center field driving home Mike Greenwell from second and making it a 1-1 game. And the Twins had a 3-1 lead in the top of the ninth when with two out, Dwight Evans connected for a three-run home run to left, and the Red Sox beat the Twins today 4-3. Now to Cleveland, where the Indians and Mariners celebrated the fourth with a day game. It was 1-0 Seattle in the fourth inning when the M's picked up two more. Tracy Jones, a solo home run to left off Chuck Nagy, his fifth of the year made it Mariners three, Indians one. Then in the fourth, the Tribe cut it to 3-2, against the big right-hander Randy Johnson, big left-hander Randy Johnson, Chris James. Home run to left center for his fifth of the year, but that was as close as Cleveland got. 3-2 Mariners was the final. Seattle has won six out of seven. Day ball in the National League has the Giants leading the Cardinals 5-2 in the eighth in San Francisco. And you know, everybody in baseball is gearing up for the annual All-Star game. Today, the fans spoke out as the starting lineups they picked were announced. Selected to start in the infield for the National League, catcher Benito Santiago of the Padres, though he's injured and won't be able to play. First baseman Will Clark of the Giants. Ryan Sandberg of the Cubs at second with Cincinnati's Chris Sabo at third and the Cardinals' Ozzie Smith at short. Andre Dawson, Lenny Dykstra, and Kevin Mitchell make up the starting outfield. For the AL, Indians' Ricky Al Sandy Alomar is the catcher. Oakland's Mark McGuire, Steve Sachs of the Yanks, Wade Boggs of the Red Sox, and Baltimore's Cal Ripken around the infield. And Jose Canseco, Ken Griffey Jr., and Ricky Henderson make up the American League outfield. And the only place you can see the All-Star game is... Right here on Wink, live next Tuesday night from Chicago at 8.30. And the lineup is set for the 1990 World Cup Championship. Today, West Germany and England battled for the right to face Argentina. Second half, Andres Bramey put this one just over the goalie's head into the net. And the Brits could not break through until the 80th minute when they crossed the ball in front of the net. And Gary Lineker snuck in there and shot the left footer to tie it. Unfortunately for England, the West Germans went on to win it in penalty kick shootout 4-3. So they'll face Argentina. On Sunday, that's a rematch of the 86 championship, won by Argentina. I think the West Germans are going to do it this time. No. Yeah, I, I, mean, I know you're for Argentina, but yes. I think West Germans are hoping Steffi Graf will win Wimbledon, Boris Becker will win Wimbledon, and they'll win the World Cup. That'll be a party in Berlin.